Hello and what's up everybody and welcome to Honkai Impact again. It's Rami the Archer here and today my friends we have a huge update that we need to speak about and we will speak about all of its parts. But before we start if you are new here and you want to stay updated with, with all of the upcoming events and updates in this game then consider subscribing my channel so that you never miss anything new about the game. And with that being said let's just go on and start with our first uh, part which is the poetry of life. So basically this is a simulation uh, where you can use uh, Celestial cil uh, uh, Hymn and I will show you now how it is. So as you can see guys, uh, we can use her here and we can learn everything about her from her normal attacks up to her special attack and her strong attack. So yeah, basically, or her weapon attack. So basically, one thing that is very important to know about uh, him is that she is a very amazing multi-hitter who can hit everything around her. So as you can see now, when I hit with her, uh, with her special, she gather everything around her and uh, uh, in one point and hit them. But when we kill them. She hit nearly everything around her, so even if they aren't at the same point or at the same place, she can hit everything around her with her uh, special. So yeah, basically it is very awesome. And here her uh, weapon attack here, you can see that it is the same as was of Judah, nearly the same, except for the, the kind of attack. And yeah, basically that's everything you need to know about Celestial Him. So let's go on now and complete our work. So moving on to part 2, the rising moon exercise. Here you can use uh, flame Sakitama and you can have uh, and you can see her attacks and special attack and yeah basically you can see everything about her. And however, there is one thing that I want to mention here in this uh, second uh, second stage. There is this second uh, mission that you need to do which is the de uh, defeating the at least 12 enemies. So basically how do you do it I will show you right now because it is it was a little bit confusing how it was uh, how it how you need to do it and yeah basically it was a little bit tricky from the from the company but yeah basically I will show you now how to do it so that you know. So as you can see now I will face the first uh, the first uh, uh, monster or boss and yeah basically uh, the trick is that when you beat him just I will beat him right now and you will see what is the trick and here here as you can see I beat him and they gave me the portal to end the mission which is here but yeah basically if you go the mission will be end and your mission won't and your second mission won't be a success so as you can see you just wait a little bit and yeah basically uh, a new a new boss uh, jump in but this isn't enough because it will become now 11 monsters and yeah basically you will wait you will wait a little bit uh, after you beat this one and you will be able to to beat the thir uh, the 13 monster and yeah basically they are coming more and more and more if uh, the more you wait the more monsters that comes uh, or the more bosses bosses that comes so yeah basically that's it and that's how to do it and yeah basically now we can move on to our third part so now we are at the memorial arena don't you know what is the memorial arena? No worries. I will show you and I will tell you what it is. So basically the memorial arena is a, stimul is a simulation uh, where you face different bosses. And those bosses depends on uh, your, your captain's level. So if you don't see those two in your memorial arena, don't panic. It is depending on your captain level and maybe you are, you are at a different level than what I am at. So however... Uh, you can see the the pictures of those bosses in the upper left side of the screen and you can see that there is letters on it uh, C and B and yeah basically this guy was a C before I beat him and uh, when I beat uh, when I beat him uh, he became a B so basically the more you beat uh, those bosses 
the higher the rank they become and uh, the more powerful they become and the highest uh, the highest difficulty is uh, ss which is the uh, where, where they become the strongest they can and yeah basically you need to score uh, you need to score in this uh, arena uh, as high score as you can beating those bosses and one thing that you need to keep in mind one very important thing is that when you when you face this guy here with uh, a three or two or whatever wh how many you want of valkyries uh, they will just look in for him and you won't be able to use them anywhere else in this memorial arena okay so them and their weapons and stigmatas so keep that in mind every each and every uh, valkyrie you use against a monster a boss you won't be able to use it against any other boss okay so this is a very important thing to keep in mind and now basically this is everything you need to know about it but i will show you as well a little bit of how you do it and yeah basically we will finish with this part and we will go to our next part but first let's let's take a look at how it uh, how it works so basically as you can see this is the boss and he have some friends as well he won't have them at the beginning but he will have them after a while so yeah basically i wanted to show you the to show you them so that you know about them uh, that's why i didn't show you from the beginning uh, so however you need to beat him as fast as possible so that you get so that you gain as a score as much as many score as much score as you can and yeah basically the highest the score you get the better rewards you get so right now i got 3920 i don't know if it is good or not because i didn't see uh, other score but yeah basically i didn't do it as fast as possible and i didn't do it with uh, strong valkyries so yeah basically uh, i don't think that it would be good but yeah basically that's how you do it and as you can see his rank became a so he became stronger and we can now get a better rewards from him as you can see so that's the memorial arena and now let's move on to our first uh, part the divine keys so what are the divine keys well the most important thing that you need to know about the divine keys the keys is that they don't have the same form as uh, normal keys but uh, they have the form of weapons so as you can see here we have the destruction key here which is the uh, uh, judgment of shamash and basically what you need to know about those keys are is uh, that you can level up them here and basically the more you level up them uh, the more uh, skills that you will get which will increase uh, your uh, either ca all characters uh, abilities or a specific uh, uh, a specific uh, damage or attribute damage which is which here here is the fire damage and here is uh, damage deal uh, uh, in burst and yeah basically a specific type of damage so however uh, once you are uh, once you unlock uh, a special skill you can't use any other special skill of those crazy ones uh, you need in order to use them uh, to lim to gene limit uh, to gene limit it so basically we go here to the gene limit and we need to use those harmony strand i will i will tell you where to get it from uh, but before we do it we will just speak about this and yeah basically by using those harmony strand you can uh, remove this gene the first uh, the first one and put this other one instead of it so basically that's how to do it so that's everything you need to know about the divine keys but uh, how to get those harmony strand in order to uh, gene limit it well that takes us to our last part of the event we will speak about the supply later but for now we will finish our parts of the event and then we will speak about the supply so basically those two gives you this, the harmony strand that you need in order to gene limit your uh, your divine keys 
So basically, in order to get them, you need to clear those uh, co-op uh, battles and rights, and Dia yeah, basically gets those get those harmony strands. So yeah, basically, one thing that is nice about those stages is that uh, arrow that you can uh, uh, praise on and uh, take a lot of information about the stage that you will uh, go and uh, do it. So you can have information about the enemies and about uh, different effects in the stage. So basically, this is very useful uh, in order to plan your uh, attack or plan which character you will use in this rights in order to get the best uh, results. So, with that being said, we are done with the part with all of the parts of uh, this update. We have covered all uh, everything, and now we can go to our supply and see it. So, last but not least, our new expansion supply with Celestial Him and Flame Sakitama in it. Uh, and uh, waiting for us to summon for them so if you want if you find them deserving your crystals go ahead and summon for them and i wish you the best of luck with your summons and i hope that you will get the valkyrie that you want for me i want to gather a little bit more crystals first and then i will make a video about it and i will upload it and if you don't want to uh, to miss uh, to miss that uh, summon go ahead and subscribe my channel and if you have already go ahead and hit that uh, notification bell beside it uh, in order to get notified when you uh, when you when i upload the video so basically with that being said we are done with everything about this new update and i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss anything new about the game and with that being said see you as always in the next video of honkai impact